Uh, good afternoon. Happy Friday. Um, today, um, one of the readings from the Daily Lectionary is from Paul's second letter to Timothy, the first chapter, uh, verses 6 through 14. For this reason, I remind you, that is Paul speaking to Timothy, to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For the spirit God gives... For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power and love and self-discipline. So do not be ashamed of the testimony about our Lord or me, his prisoner. Rather, join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God. He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet this is no cause for shame, because I I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he is able to guard what... I have entrusted to him until that day. What you heard from me keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. So um, so God, uh, Paul reminded Timothy, uh, God does not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-discipline or self-control. And he reminds us to to, to guard uh, the good deposit of the faith that is is given us, even in these tumultuous times. Let Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks that even though we live in fearful circumstances, we need not be fearful people. Uh, Because you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you've given us a spirit of power and love and self-control. We pray that that spirit of power and love and self-control may guide us uh, in in these difficult days. We pray for an end to the pandemic. We pray for all who are working to combat it in, in medicine and research. We pray for all first responders. And we pray for all who are protesting to combat po- combat police brutality and racism in all forms. We pray for all essential workers, all who are working with the public, and we pray for our churches. Lead us, guide us, uh, help us to be your witnesses. Help us to proclaim the good news that you would have us proclaim, uh, e- e- even though sometimes it is risky, even though sometimes people don't want to hear uh, the proclamation uh, help us to keep help us to keep preaching the word in season and out of season. All these things we ask in Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, just a reminder: uh, we will be having our online church service this Sunday. Uh, it is a it is Trinity Sunday when we uh, commemorate uh, God as Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit one God in three persons. It is also a communion Sunday, so please uh, please have the elements for communion, bread and wine or grape juice or something similar on hand. Uh, so even though we are separated physically, we can celebrate the Lord's Supper together. Uh, amen.